Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is that time of the year in Washington where it gets cold. It is now fall, and I feel like the temperatures are at like 60 degrees, probably even less. And trying to get some grip is kind of kind of a task on its own right now. And I am not equipped for this. I had to put a hoodie underneath my jacket right now because it's just it's actually kind of chilly. Hello, Mr. Ryder. But fall, winter, it's also a good time. Because if you're looking to buy a new bike, prices are down. So over the summer, oh my God, those prices were ridiculous. Including used bikes. Used bikes were out of this world. The demand is real. Let's talk about the cost of owning this bike. So this is a 2021 Ninja 400 ABS in Passion Red. And normally you would get a Ninja 400 without ABS for like 4,999 MSRP. And then with the ABS, I think it just bumps up to about like 5,500 or some, something like that. Maybe 5,300. It's not much, but I, if you were a beginner biker, if you're a beginner rider, I definitely would opt for the ABS. Because that extra added safety is nice. Why are we going so slow? So, mine, when I bought the bike, ooh, bought it a little bit more expensive than most people would. Yes, call me dumb, I know, but they call it the Linwood Motoplex Special, because I bought it at Linwood Motoplex. And it, it came with a few things, a few mods, such as the Akropovich exhaust, the tail tidy kit, then along came the, uh, the Pugue windscreen. Then there was another, oh, it came with a tank pad, a tank protector, which wasn't really a good one because it was from one design and I didn't really like one design all that much. So I opted for the uh, tech spec tank pads. Why are we going so slow? What the hell? I've never seen anyone drive this slow on State Avenue, to be honest. People are usually flying, doing like 60 in a 40 zone here. So the total cost of the bike, when I first saw it, I think it was like for 7,200. Yeah, I know. But then in my mind, it was like, oh, they came with the exhaust, it came with all these mods, and my riding buddy, Project Dan, says, hey, you're gonna get these mods anyways. I'm like, true, true. So I bought it. And then out the door price, <laughs> it was more like 9,500 or something like that. <laughs> Cost as much as my Civic. So not really a smart purchase on my end, but whatever, I got the bike. There wasn't really much for Ninja 400s. I could have bought it used, but the reason why I went brand new is because I didn't want to deal with the the problems of like the previous owners if they they say they never dropped the bike but then how often are you going to believe that then along with the washington tax which is about 9.5 or something like that you know i killed it i forgot what gear i was in out the door yeah i think it was about like 98 or something i'll have the price here in the corner somewhere on video and that was the base that was my cost and you know it, it, I don't really care it doesn't really matter because I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep riding the bike and keep learning on it so I'm gonna have it for a while and this is the reason why you would buy a new bike and make payments and all that just so you can um keep it for a while I'm gonna be on it for a long time so let's talk about insurance insurance is gonna be a little bit different for most people because like it's it's a variable moving target kind of deal because like your rates de are depend on your age driving history accidents tickets blah 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 i'm 33 years old i've only had like a ticket a year maybe <laughs> but here in washington they like they drop the tickets or yeah they're like the tickets they drop them like every three years or something like that so you start fresh so it's not really a big deal if you get a ticket as long as you don't get in trouble for like three years which if you're 
you don't have self-control, that's gonna be kind of hard to do. While I go zoom, zoom. 33 years old, they're like, no accidents for like the last whatever year. I rarely get in trouble. I ride and drive like an old man. Of course, when I'm not on the bike. I guess the next topic to talk about is gas. This thing has a 3.7 gallon tank. It really doesn't take much to fill up. First time I filled up, I think it was like six bucks. And obviously it depends on how often you ride, but I would have to guess it went about like, maybe like at most $10 a week. So it's not bad. Also, side note, this thing takes 87. There is no performance enhancers if you do premium. Yes, I know, high compression motor, it's gonna take premium. That's not, that's not what the rating is. Octane rating is knock resistance. Just read the owner's manual. My bike didn't come with it. I guess most Ninja 400s don't. They, you have to go online to find it. Ooh, a ZX14, ooh. But if it says 87, you put 87 in that bitch. I had a friend fill up my tank yesterday with 92. Honestly, there was no difference whatsoever. I'm not gonna argue with the engineers and designers of this bike. If they said 87, you put 87. Now, if you have like a 600 Super Sport and it says 92, you put 92 in that bitch. No ands, ifs, or buts. I get about, ooh. I get about, on average, I get about 56 miles to the gallon. If I really, really baby it, I can get about 220 miles. Get about 74 miles to the gallon which is really nice. I mean, it's a parallel twin that makes 45 horsepower. It's not, it's not, I mean, honestly, it depends on how much throttle you put in. So it's a really good gas zipper. But this will definitely be my daily once I look for another bike. Gear is the most expensive part of motorcycle ownership. My jacket right now, my Alpine Star Viper Air 2, that was like $250. Like, no, that's the cheap end of things, man. My helmet, the AGVK1 in matte black, that was like $210 off Revzilla. It was like, oh man, this is adding up. It's like, nope, that's still the cheap end. My Revit's Kinetic glo Summer Gloves, these are like $100. And you can get them, you can get gloves cheaper, but I'd rather not skimp out on protection. My boots, Sidichi Podios, I got those bitches on sale. <laughs> I was tired of ruining my shoes. So, like gear is pretty expensive. Like if, if you're a new rider, you are like painting through the prices that I just listed out for gear. Oh, don't don't forget my back armor for my Alpine Stars. That was like $50. Oh. Yeah, I think that about covers it. If that really answers all your questions or gives you an idea of like, of owning a sport bike. And I'm not gonna just limit it to sport bikes, at least just the bikes alone. But ideally for sport bikes, because that's what I own. And if that helps you out in giving an idea on costs, give this video a like and I don't know, subscribe, it's free. You don't have to lose anything if you don't subscribe, but if you subscribe, you help the channel out. You help me out donating your like and subscri subscription. So, I call it good. You all have a good day and ride hard. Peace out.